Good morning. Another, oh shit. Another way in. What's going on guys? So you saw my weight this morning down a bunch. Um, now, if you're looking at all of my numbers for the week, they aren't as, you know, that it definitely like makes up for it, if you will. I had one day uh, where my weight was a little bit higher than normal. And then obviously that super low one of 172. My average comes out to like 174 something. But I'm down from last week and it just goes to show you if if you don't feel like things are working out just you know stay the course every I'm doing everything right for the most part um yeah I don't want to dwell on this too much as I know I kind of talk a lot about this stuff at the very beginning it can be kind of boring um so as for today's video we are not making food either so kind of just a different uh video altogether so we're gonna cut to jenna and i actually getting black sheep and then i'm gonna kind of walk you through how i go about calculating calories for that so cut to black sheep all right guys so we tried to do something a little bit different this week um, instead of making something which for us is super hard coming up with new ideas we decided to go buy black sheep a uh, local burger place um, and my plan for this one was to kind of show you how I calculate calories, uh, in a place that might not necessarily be upfront and open about the calories that are in their food. So the first thing to remember is not to be too generic with everything. You know, we all, we both got burgers. So the last thing you want to do is just type in that you want a burger. Or if you want a burger. Whatever, because that's not going to bring up exactly what you want, and it's not precise enough. So we have, or I have, broken down the burger. Um, we got two separate patties here, and then uh, there's two slices of cheese on here as well. That is a, I think, a light um, white cheddar cheese. I went very generic with the bun. And then I've got lettuce on here. As far as the sauce goes, that's super hard. This is like a specific recipe of theirs. So I'll probably do something like a barbecue sauce and uh, throw that in there. As far as the amount, I might enter in like either two or three tablespoons or servings. It's kind of just dependent. We do have a serving of fries that we're sharing. It's probably like a serving, maybe a serving each, probably. So I put in a generic um, thing for the fries as well, but I don't know if I'll have any. I might have a little bit of the sauces that we got for the fries too. But um, again, I'm not going crazy overboard with this. That is not the point. Uh, the point is to get as closer, you know, as you can, and then again, move on from there. Now, going into the restaurant, I knew that I'm going to get anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500 calories. So, in order to, or for this meal in general. So, to compensate for that, my dinner will probably be a little bit smaller. Um, since we are cutting, I am overestimating probably a little bit. I didn't go crazy overboard. Again, don't be overwhelmed by trying to you know break everything down and being as precise as you can it's only one day if you're off by a couple hundred calories totally fine now the worst thing that you could do is turn around and have another crappy meal because you already screwed up once right that's not the case here um, get right back on track i know i need to have a little less calories for dinner and that's that all right so hopefully that gives you a little glimpse into just how I calculate things and how I, I guess, I don't necessarily freak out about it too much either. Um, I was still on track for my calories today, but if I'm being honest with myself, I'm, I was probably under on my calories uh, given how I track things. But who knows? I could have been over and I could have been over on my calories, but I'm not going to stress about it. 
the only reason that you should maybe think a little bit more, or how do I want to rephrase this? You should probably be worried about calculating calories like that if you find yourself in that situation often, like every day. If every day you're stressing about how you're going to input these calories, then you're probably doing something wrong. Now, again, I don't want to bore you guys too much. Uh, as you notice, I'm filming in our living room because I was noticing in my videos how just all over the place I was with everything. And so I was, I wanted to see if this kind of calmed me down a little bit, which I feel like it has. Uh, having said that, we have completed the junk. No, no, no. We completed the breakfast food week. Moving on to this week, we are doing uh, desserts every single night. And I plan on going all out on desserts. I'm talking like six to 800 calories um, to desserts, which definitely ups the ante a little bit. One, don't recommend doing that because I'm pushing a lot of calories out at the end of the night. Um, I'm expecting my weight to be a little bit weird in the mornings. I might be up next week because I am shoveling so much calories in the evening, probably like 12 to 1500 calories. Um, I'm interested to see how I sleep. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Still don't know how to close out these videos, so cut to the bloopers. Um, it, oh, not every place is gonna do that. I don't know. I don't know. It can kind of be kind of, can kind of be kind of. Oh God, I shouldn't have started eating. I already ate it. That's <laughs> really good though. Because I, I didn't even say any of the stuff that I said I was going to say. What else did I say? It's getting hot because I'm getting frustrated. <laughs>